So on the startup page, you have the begin button, which takes you to the welcome page or the main menu. In the main menu, you have the manual feeding, the automatic feeding, and the time. Go to manual feeding, you can click the feed button, which turns us to one revolution. This is the water button, it opens the solenoid valve, and when you release the button, it closes the solenoid valve. If we go to the automatic feeding, we can see how the screw can be turned from a set time. The time was 17.08, so we're going to make it 17.09 and set the dog weight to 5 kilograms. This has worked out how many revolutions that screw will need to turn for a 5 kilogram dog. As you can see, the screw has turned at the correct time and has delivered the correct amount of food for the 5 kilogram dog. This is a little safety feature I've added in. As you can see, the, the screw is turning. When I remove the lid, the screw will not turn. This is because I have a reed switch in place so that it tells the Arduino that when the lid is removed or the value is zero, that the, the screw is unable to turn. I have also wirelessly enabled my dog feeder so it can be controlled via an iPhone. The iPhone can control the rotation of the screw in the opening and closing of the solenoid valve. I've also implemented the use of a wireless camera so the dog can be viewed by the person's iPhone whilst eating the food. Therefore, users can be sure that the dog is being fed at the correct time. 